how to auto create subfolders for better file organization with the SharePoint connector for Business Central. Hey, I'm Eric, and uh, the SharePoint connector for Business Central is a way to connect SharePoint with Business Central to get document management directly inside Business Central while still having a full featured document management system in SharePoint connecting the two. In this specific video, we're going to look into uh, a new feature called auto create subfolders and auto create subfolders is a way to organize files on the lowest level meaning that if the SharePoint claim will make sure that files from one customer goes into one folder and files from another customer goes to another folder or whatever table you're working on uh, but within the single customer you can have multiple subfolders and uh, now we have a way to auto create those subfolders for you let me show you how so this actually starts in the uh, in the SharePoint table mapping window. I have selected, placed a little arrow on, on the customer table, and uh, I'll go up here and I will select auto create subfolders. We have a new list, and this list will tell that on a customer, on each customer I create, I want to have four subfolders. In this case, I have selected one, one called contract, one called docs and more, drawings and production schedules. Um, I have also specified that the docs and more folder should be my first file placement location. Uh, and what does that mean? That means that if the folders are created as a result of you adding a new file, and we'll do that in a minute so I can show you, then that new file will automatically go into this folder instead of just going to the root folder. But let me show you how. So if I go to uh, to customers and let's create a new customer. So I create a completely new customer and I will call this customer uh, uh, auto create uh, for video. That's a great name for a customer, right? Uh, so now I have the new customer and I'll grab a, uh, a file to to, um, to put on the customer. I think I'm going to grab the tigers here. So I just drop it on the box. It's getting uploaded. And now we can see it says we have tigers. We can also see that the, the two does mean that now we are actually inside the subfolder. So if I click on that one, we get out of the subfolder and behind my head. Maybe I can move my head in this case. I'll just move myself over here for a second. Uh, we can see that there are those four folders that we created. And if I click docs and more, that's where the tiger is. That's how easy it is to get subfolders. There's one more trick. Uh, and, and let me show you that. Um, because you might want to, let's say we create yet another new customer. Um, and in this case, we'll still use the same template. Uh, and I will create this as another customer. It's also a great name. But I might not actually have a file to upload right now. So I can always go in and say, create subfolders here. And do I want to auto create standard folders? For sure. And then I get the folders without having to upload a file to get it triggered. Um, the reason that we don't, as soon as you create the customer, create the folder is because I don't know when you have done typing in the name or whatever field you're using to create the initial customer folder. So, so as with everything else with the SharePoint connector, it, it kind of just in time. So now we upload a file, then we got to create the folders. But if you, you know, you know that the first file needs to go to one specific folder. You can always just use the create folders and then upload the file to that folder. So that's how you uh, use the new auto create folders, auto create subfolders with the with SharePoint connector. There are plenty of links below to, to go check out all the other features. You can try out the, the SharePoint connector uh, in a sandbox. Everything works in a sandbox. You can uh, try out all the features, including this one. and um, let us know uh, how you like it. Um, and thanks for watching.